Okay, now we're gonna fly from Seoul, Korea, down all the way down here to Hong Kong, right there, Hong Kong. Hello everybody, I'm Chris Provost, and you're watching Provost Park Best, and today is a travel day. We are leaving Korea and flying to Hong Kong, and that is, it's gonna be awesome. I have to tell you something really cool about this hotel we're staying at here in Korea, though. Do you see this? It says, do not disturb or make up room. Uh, when you leave the room, there's a little button inside, and you turn that on, and this will light up, letting the uh, staff know what they need to do. So, at most places, like, you know, they have the cleaning staff come in between, like, 10 and 2. This is staff is here from 8 until 5 in the afternoon, and whenever you turn your button on, that's when they come and clean it up. And they do a deep, deep clean of your uh, hotel room, steam it, and all that stuff. And if you also notice, I did get a shave. All right, let's do this. Goodbye, Lotte World. Goodbye. Okay, we are on our way to the airport. We have a, this, um, yep, I don't know why I waved at you. <laughs> we have this uh, driver is taking us there. It's like an Uber. And it is, the airport's only 35 minutes away, 45 minutes away, but because traffic is so bad, they told us to leave multiple hours early. So we're leaving very early to get to the airport on time. So last night when I scheduled our car, I scheduled it to pick us up at 8.45, um, figuring maybe an hour and a half, two hours to get to the airport should be fine, our flight's at one, blah, blah, blah. So I scheduled it, and then I get this message saying, you, you need to leave at 7.45 in the morning, to the minimum, because traffic will be so bad in Korea to get to the airport right now. So we got up even earlier and got already and we're good to go. Oh, what's that? I have nothing more to add. I'm like, you did great. That's right. We're just driving along. There's those are trees. So not too interesting, but alright. But you can see part of the giant skyscrapers, but now of course you can't. Kind of fun to see all this stuff. There you go. You see some of those giant buildings. Those are all apartment complexes, guys. There's not a lot of houses here in Seoul. People live in apartments. And they commute by subway. Almost everything's through subway Mom, here. Happy birthday. Okay, see that building there? That gold building? When I was here in Korea, that was the tallest building in Korea. Now it's dwarfed. Yeah, I think that was it. I think it's the 63. It was like really tall. We look at the background, you see taller buildings. We made it to the airport, I have to show you. Amanda found this little Korean boy outfit and she loved it in the store. She's like, I gotta get that for Miles. I love it. And so we got that for Miles. And it matches the suitcase. And we also found out, Miles has gelatoni. Guess what guys? Today we were like on Hong Kong Disney's website oh, and they said that it's Gelatoni's friend anniversary, meaning it's his birthday, Gelatoni turns seven. So when we land in Hong Kong Disney, Amanda says we're gonna try to go to Hong Kong Disney, like downtown, and buy Gelatoni a, a cup, a cupcake to celebrate his birthday. Happy birthday, Gelatoni! Happy birthday, Gelatoni. <laughs> so we're doing this perfect, perfect timing. timing Duffy's a big thing there yeah, too. Duffy's also a very big thing in, in Hong Kong Disney. We found out, so we're excited. Yeah, we, we yeah we heard you know how you can meet Mickey Mouse. Apparently in Hong Kong, you might be able to meet Gelatoni, and that's what we really want to do because. He's become a very big, big deal in our family. Part of our family. All right, let's do this. We gotta check in. Okay, so we just, it's, it's interesting. We're flying, this is very, very affordable. It was like 80 or $90 person. I don't even remember. I wish I could go back and check. I feel like even less. Yeah, the, the airline we're on is like Hong Kong Express. So excited to check. We're very excited. Um, and then you check your bag. So we went in and we checked our stuff. And then they put this little holding area. You have to wait here for five minutes they as, as they scan your bag. If they don't call your name, then you go. You proceed to uh, check in. And it takes about 40 minutes to get from here to the gate. So man, we were here, you guys. Did you mention how early we were here? Well, you said how they said, yeah, you gotta get here really early. Yeah. I mean, what, what did we arrive? Three and a half hours early, I think. Three and a half hours early, which is good, like better. Are able to get through this nice and slow and calmly than like stressed running around and miss our flight. <laughs> we made it through customs and now we're off to there to find our gate. Look at this like kind of like a waterfall of bubbles.
That's cool. It's like we're going in a fizzy drink. Guys, I have to show you. Check this out. Look at this little cleaner. It's like a little roller cleaner. Just touch me. My name is Airporter. I guess we can touch it? Let's see what it says. Touch me. Oh, I touched him. I'm an airport and transport luggage for the week to the destination. He'll carry your luggage for you. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you, airporter. We'll let you go. That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. That's that little, in, that little air, airport luggage carrier. I'll carry your luggage for you. That's how the world starts to can take over, guys. Cyberdyne. Airport luggage. Oh, there's another one up here. There's another one. Just, he's just waiting. Oh, oh, he's turning. He's looking. Trying to decide where he wants to go. <laughs> Crazy. There he goes. They have a food court, guys, and guess what they have? Taco Bell. Can you think of anything riskier than eating Taco Bell before you go get on a flight? Not much. I mean, like, that's... That's probably not the best idea. That's like, that's a ticking time, you know what. You guys are walking through the airport, and Amanda saw this little thing, and it's like, just, it was called, let's turn it a so you can see it. Yeah, a little, so you can see. So I read it, it's called Baita, Baita Jun. It's like a vitamin C shot. <laughs> It's all vitamin C, apparently. Keep us healthy and strong here, Mouse. Okay. Have some. All right, so Amanda's trying it now, and it's... Mm. Oh, it's good. Oh, there's nothing wrong with it. It's delicious. It's delicious? It's like candy. Tastes like candy? I was not expecting that. It's candy. Really? I don't there's like these suckers that I used to get with my grandma, and they're like pink on top and yellow on the bottom. They're like these dry suckers. It tastes just like that. There you go. I was expecting like... Like I, super sour, super sour. This is yeah. fine. This is candy. All right, let's try it. Oh yeah, that's just like lemon like Kool Aid. <laughs> <laughs> so travel days are like the most exhilarating and stressful of all days. Do you guys do this? Like, I'll put our passports in my pocket, and then like two seconds later, I'm like, "Where are the passports?" And then I'm like, "Oh, they're right here." And then I'm like, "You know what? I better put them in my backpack just to be sure." And then all of a sudden, a few seconds, later, I'm like, "Where are my passports?" And I'm like, checking, and then. You're like, I keep checking for my wallet, make sure we have our phone, make sure we got all of our stuff, our IDs. I don't know, I just kind of stress, and then we get here and we kind of relax. Exciting, but a little stressful. I'm worried I'm gonna you guys were at the airport, and Amanda ordered the spiciest noodles she could find. And, uh, and like, look at how small the water cups that's are. That's her water cup. <laughs> She's going for it. <laughs> Miles did get Taco Bell, so we're gonna see. Both of these can be yeah, Taco Bell dangerous on flight. Both of these are going to be dangerous. Taco Bell and this spicy, spicy noodles. Let's see how hot it is. It's hot, hot too. So I've had a lot of questions. I've seen how to be a vegetarian on travels like this. It's hard. It's actually very hard. Vegan, I feel like would be almost impossible. Like you would just eat fruit. I don't know what else you would eat besides just like fruit. Everything comes uh, with meat. Cooked with meat, cooked in meat, with egg, like so much stuff. Um, egg if you're vegan, I eat eggs. So it is something tricky and I just haven't been too picky. Like if oh, yeah. this came they, with meat and they, I just took it they, off. She did that, it just takes, pulls some, the meat out. Some people wouldn't touch it cause like there was meat on top. But for me, like I'm not gonna starve on this trip. I just don't want to eat the meat chunks. But I also like can't be picky if it touches my food. Does that make sense? Okay, I think this is cooled down enough. Okay, go for it. How's the spice level? Mm. Mm. Amanda likes things burning hot. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Very tasty. The hot? Spicy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh. Bazinga. It's very tasty. Her face is a little red. Chris said my face is a little red. When she went to pick up the order, she, what did you say? I went to pick up the order and they looked at me and they looked down at it and then they looked at me and I showed them the receipt and I was like, yes, this is, this is it. Like, cause once I saw, I, I knew. And they were like, oh yeah, they saw my number and they were like, oh. Well, good luck. <laughs> good luck is right. It was very hot, but she it's loves so it. so hot, I love it, it tastes so good. You're like, my lips are on fire. Everything's on fire. All right, we're about ready to board and we decided to buy some drinks for the flight. This is a little cute bottle of water. <laughs> cute. 
this is like orange juice. And this is Amanda's. It's apple, peach, kiwi, fruit, mango, lime juice. Yeah, that sounds good. It says you could take these on your flight. You take these on your flight. So, so that yeah. sold us. We were like, so okay. Like, let's get in and go on a flight. <laughs> Since it's Joe Tony's birthday, Miles wants us to sing. So. <laughs> Jelly Tony wants a donut. Jelly Tony, Jelly Tony, we found out, wants this donut. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, he took a big bite. Jelly Donut. This is one of my favorite conversations I've ever heard in my entire life. The other morning, Amanda was talking to Miles, and she's like, Jelly Tony, she's like, do you think he's Italian? And Miles like, no, mom, he's an omnivore. He eats vegetables and meat. <laughs> There's our plane, we're ready to go. Get ready to board, guys. Hong Kong Express. Okay, we're boarding. All right, we're boarded. Miles, check out the safety procedures. Get ready to take off here. Safety first. Okay, we just got the flight. We are about to take off. It's about a three and a half hour flight to Hong Kong. We're taking off, guys. We're about to leave Korea. Now we're going to go to Hong Kong. here in the airport we gotta go through customs and then head off to uh, Hong Kong Disney we got one suitcase it's really green's a really big deal in our family look at, that. Big deal. <laughs> look at those shoes we got, we got one sometimes I always get a little nervous like like you get one and the second one is showing up you're like what's going on I'm sure it'll be here uh, we only got the one suitcase the second one still hasn't come out Amanda says she doesn't care because the one that came out was, has her clothes <laughs> but we need it for but miles and I yeah it was good. Yeah, everything uh, like on my clothing, on my house clothing, so we gotta figure this out. Still coming out, hopefully. Oh, no, they're like not coming out. Oh, yeah. oh, no. Uh-oh. Okay, we got it. We, we did get it. Got our other bag. We're good to go. It's exciting. There it is. Hong Kong Cap Disneyland Resort. All right, we arrived. We are staying at the Disney Explorer Hotel. We just got here, and it it just that smell. You walk in, it just it smells so, so good. good. Oh my gosh, you guys, and Hong Kong is so beautiful. Like, this is seriously exceeding my expectations. Yeah. I am completely blown away. I'm a speechless, and I rarely get speechless. This is... Let's check in the room. Show the room. Yes. Okay, so this is our room, 8538. We're checking in. Let's check out this room. Look, oh my gosh, look at this view. Oh my gosh, look at this view. Holy cow, there's like a little fire pit down there. Okay, so let me show you the room. They've got, oh, there's Mickey, there's Minnie, a little bed here. We've got Mickey right over here. And this is the African wing of the hotel. I guess is what they said. And if you look over here, you've got a little table over here. You got a little writing credenza, a little seat to sit over there. There's Miles holding the door. Hello. Hello. We've got like a little closet area here. And I think if we open this up, I think, yes, look at that. Amanda is going to lose her mind because she loves that stuff. Look at those little tiny slippers for Miles. So we got slippers in here and I don't know what's, in here okay just 
little, I guess a little, little mug. Is this a fridge? Yep. Okay, sweet fridge. Okay. And then let's go look over here. You have, this is like an open air uh, bathroom area. So we got a sink over there. It, what is this? I don't even know what this is. I can't open it. Can you open that up? Let's see if I can. Yeah. Oh, all your little toiletries. Perfect. Okay. Little glass, drinky glasses, and then down over here. And then Miles has already taken a look at this. This is the uh, commode. And it's then, got a rain shower. It has a rain shower and a wand, which we love. That's really nice for little, we have little kids to wash their hair. So nice. Let me back out so you guys can see. And again, this view. You guys, I need to get Amanda the reaction when she comes to look at the view. I need you to see this view. Okay. Okay, okay walk forward slowly. Okay. You should be fine. You're, gonna be, you're fine. You're not going to hit anything. Well, I'm, I'm okay. I'm not, I can see the floor. <laughs> oh, you can see the floor. Yes. Right. Okay, keep coming, keep coming, okay. keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, okay. keep coming, keep coming. And look. What is this? I, it's paradise. What is this? This is absolutely paradise. This is paradise. I just, oh my gosh. I can't believe this. Is this is better than my wildest dreams. Yeah. I mean, I didn't have anything to expect. This is my first time to Hong Kong. And this is my first time, I mean, to Disney, obviously, but this is unreal. Like just the beautiful scenery, the water, yeah. the mountains, this room, like this is seriously, this is paradise. This is Disney paradise. All right, so we are now going to go explore the hotel and have some fun. But I have to tell you something interesting. Our driver I had that took us, um, he's traveled all around the world. He's like, where are you guys coming from? And we're like, uh, Korea. He's like, what? He's like, and uh, we're in Japan. He's like, no way. And he's like, he has traveled everywhere. And he said this, and I think some of you will like this. He said, have you been to Australia yet? And we're like, no. He's like, you have to go to Australia. It's my favorite place in the whole world. <laughs> so. I think that was really sweet because we've had a lot of comments of people saying, come to Australia yes. and do the new Disney cruise that's coming out. So, so I think we might have that. to figure out how to get down to Australia I know. now. I know. <laughs> we were just going to go outside. We noticed they provide you with uh, complimentary bug spray. So we're like, oh, we'll just do that. So we just sprayed up and we're going to head out to the pool. We want to see the pool first. So check this out. It is hot. <laughs> There's nothing though. Not but unbearable. Like, not unbearable, like but it, I mean, but like when you walk outside, you're like, why you feel weak? It's not awesome. Not unbearable, but I'm going to oh. tell you, it's going to be more hot in Shanghai. Oh my gosh. Get ready for that. Okay. Before you guys, this is, it feels like we're in Hawaii. Yeah, this is paradise. This is paradise. It's like 100%. this. It looks like we're in Hawaii. So we're walking over here. This is so unexpected. I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting this. Okay, raindrop pool. Let's go check it out. You, you guys, this is amazing. This pool here is absolutely stunning. But we're just checking this out. They also have, we found out they have pedal carts, race cars. So Miles and I want to do that. Man, it's like, don't you want to go do like a Duffy parade and a picnic? Or they have that. But we want to, we're going to go check out the pedal cars. Look at this entryway, guys. Come in. It's got like a waterfall that when you walk in, no way. You guys, we just found the pedal no. car, <laughs> race course. Mom's like, I'm on my way. There they are. I don't know what it is. We'll have to find out. Is it like closed? I, I don't know. Let's find out. He's just gone. He just, he just literally put on the helmet and he's gone. And so these little pedal cars here, I don't know where he's going. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> Here we come, coming in hot. <laughs> I'm gonna follow you. Sharp turn. I'm following him. I can't believe this little pedal cart. They have this here. There's like three hotels here. They have it at this in one other hotel. Now apparently, I guess all these activities, they have lots of complimentary activities that you can use. Well, this hotel is it's like Alani and Wilderness Lodge combined. Look at this tree, guys. It's Tree. Oh, look at that little head. <laughs> There's Amanda wondering what we're doing. Let's go. Let's see. Get a cool action shot. 
Here he comes, guys. Getting down low to get that action Brakes shot. Out. No point driving now. Oh, brakes out. No point driving now. <laughs> If you didn't see our video where we were went to the Seoul Olympic Park, we were on a bike cart and we almost crashed. And that's what I was saying. I'm like, brakes are out, no point in driving now. And Amanda was freaking out. That's what Miles is now referencing. There are so many different restaurant options. It's actually been really hard to decide. <laughs> but the world of color looks awesome. Um, they had a vegetarian menu. And so after a few days of like, eating my meals with just taking off the meat off the side. I'm like, oh my gosh, they have an actual tailored vegetarian menu. They have flavors from around the world. They have traditional Chinese. They've got this uh, little caf like cafeteria right here that has traditional, I think around the world meals. And then I saw somewhere else that said it had traditional Chinese food. And then this world of color looks um, a little bit nicer. And then they also have like a tea time with Duffy and friends. And that I'm like, Oh my gosh, we have to do that. It's a little tea time and they have tons of different desserts uh, to choose from. And then Duffy has become a huge part of our family with us getting gelatoni. And so I'm like, we have to do the tea time. I don't know how we're gonna do it all. Um, when we were booking this uh, Hong Kong Disneyland section, I was like, oh, maybe, I don't know where they went. So I'm just gonna keep walking and talking. I was like, maybe we book too many days here. Um, Cause I heard that the park is smaller. But now that we're here at the resort and it's so beautiful and there's so many things to see and do, I'm like, I don't think we've, I don't think we planned for enough days because I'm so excited to go into Disneyland and do the parks. But I'm also just thrilled to be here at this resort. Like this is seriously a blend of Alani and Animal Kingdom Lodge with a Disney park attached to it. Hello, Disney Paradise. They also have this Nemo's Recreation Reef. It's for kids to come play. It's like 50 minute increments and it's like a whole like a like a there's a slide and like soft. <laughs> plays and toys. I don't want to film it because children are there, but Miles went in there and there was, and the, there was uh, kids from uh, all different languages and they had no problem. They're playing hide and go seek and having a good time. It's like from ages maybe like 3 to 12. Alright, so what is this restaurant we're in? It's World of Color. World of Color. We ended up here. It's like a it's great, gorgeous. super nice restaurant. It's a little underdressed, so but we so wanted it. Amanda so wanted the food here. And we ordered, they had this fun mocktails for kids and adults, so we ordered a bunch of those, so we got some great food. All right, so I brought up Miles' food. He's got like a Mickey, that's a rice thing in Mickey with some little curry sauce to pour on top of it. And then some uh, fruit and a little bit of chicken. Uh, chicken. Salad. This is called the Tiki see. Kid, guys. Oh, it's kind of like slushy. It's super cold, they got little like melon little melon balls. melon balls and then it's like a sprite with orange juice paradise you guys paradise. so this is why we came here because it's a vegetarian dish that amanda wanted it's pumpkin penne so and excited. then i also got this pork chop that is not vegetarian and this drink is delicious <laughs> and amanda says the drink so is refreshing. delicious how is it okay. and this is called the lavender garden <laughs> pick you out Fancy first. I love the name. Lavender Garden. <laughs> All right, and I have to take a minute, you guys. This is so good. <laughs> this, this is my so good meter. This is so good. So it's a vegetarian pumpkin penne pasta with ricotta. Absolutely delicious. Oh, it's spinach. And I don't remember what else. Maybe spinach and mushrooms, but it's so good. Yeah, it's so Amanda was like, it's like, it's not coming out. I can't get anything out. <laughs> she was literally like sucking on the bamboo shoot. And it's like, it's For not coming out. For a long time. Yeah. And the cast members over there were laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, straw. <laughs> How is it? That was good, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Very refreshing. It's exactly what you would think of like a lavender garden. A very mild, refreshing taste. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. It's like the Cocoa Rice Krispies. Cocoa Rice Krispies, vanilla. And this is hot. So like a hot chocolate. Hot, hot chocolate, yeah. Pour it and drizzle slowly. slowly. Take your time. Okay. Wait, let me go for it. You ready? Uh-huh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's cool. gonna be so good. Oh, this is so cool. I have to eat it right now. <laughs> I have to eat it right now. I'm gonna try it. I've never seen anything like this. Miles, do you wanna buy it? Oh, 
It's like cereal, cocoa, and like ice cream. Pot, yeah. Wait a minute, how is it? Mm, so good. Is it so good? Mm -hmm. Whoa, Milo's coming in hot. Good minute. All right. Delicious. This is a so good meat, you guys. Is it really? Oh wait, this is so good. This is so good. It is so chocolatey, super rich. It is so good. You guys, you destroyed it. I'm, that's, that's gone. Mm. Miles gone. I have to say, this Mickey cocoa, was the best thing I've had. I'm like, I can't stop thinking about it. I cannot, I want, I go, I want another one and another one. It was so good. You guys, we're in the gift shop in the hotel. Look, they have pins to trade, which is interesting because they do not have those in Japan. But now Amanda's thinking about a shirt. What are you thinking? Hong Kong Disneyland. Ooh, is that the front? That's the front? Yeah. Ooh, I like it. I like it, do you really? I like it too. Solid, right? Solid. 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 No frills, no fluffs. No frills, no fluffs. Solid Hong Kong Disneyland. Boom pal. But I do kind of want a gelatoni shirt too. But we need to wait. I think we need to go to the park and see what else they have too. But they have a gelatoni shirt. Gelatoni. Oh my gosh, guys, she found a gelatoni shirt. This is the gelatoni shirt. <laughs> Melantoni. Bink. Jelly donut. Jelly donut. <laughs> That's awesome. You guys, Amanda loves this place. This. <laughs> This is the lounge. It's like the Animal Kingdom Lodge in Florida almost. I don't even, it's just, it's amazing. Amanda wants this, she wants to stand up there and like lean off and be like, hold up like Simba, like, no. Nah. Hold up, Miles. Transylvania. Oh, this is incredible. So fun. All right, guys, we're just gonna get a little tiny treat. These are mini milk chocolate truffles. Wow. I'm walking back to the room. Uh, Miles started getting really tired, so Amanda took him back to the room already. I got a little, those little Mickey chocolates for Amanda and I to enjoy tonight. Um, I have to say that flight was very, very inexpensive, but man, those seats, sitting on those seats, after a while, you're kind of like, ah, it's, it's, it's like sitting on a folding chair almost. Anyways, I just want to take a quick little moment to talk to you. Did you know that, and I am talking to you. I want you to know that I think that you are important and you make the world a better place. Did you know that? No matter what's going on right now, I know some of you maybe have lost a loved one or maybe somebody has lost a friend or a, um, a family member or and it's difficult, you feel a little bit alone, you're not alone. I want you to know that you have a friend at Pearl's Park Pass and I think that you're amazing. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Tomorrow is going to be amazing. We are going to go to uh, Hong Kong Disney for our very first time. You'll be experiencing it with us just as we're experiencing it because we don't really know that much about it. And if you could do me a little favor and hit that subscribe button and hit that uh, like button, that just is a big, big thank you to me if you do that. All right, thanks so much, guys. I'll see you tomorrow at Hong Kong Disney. We flew all the way to Hong Kong, bum, 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 on this very inexpensive plane, bum, bum, bum. It was awesome, but there's no, there was no cushion on the seat. But that's okay, because we landed in Hong Kong. We're in Hong Kong. Hope you like the video.